what you say and who you say it, who you say it to. Careful what you say and who you say it to. Maybe you talk too much and you're asking for it. While Northern Virginia is certainly not known for any mountain railroading, there still is one grade which rivals those in the southwest Virginia areas. The Fairfax grade, which runs from Clifton into Burke, is the steepest grade in the D.C. area. Running at about 2%, many trains in the southern area would stall on this grade and need help from other engines on the back or tagged onto the front of the train. Nowadays, however, Norfolk Southern runs very few long trains on this stretch of line, so it's very rare to hear some notch 8 engines going up this very steep grade. However, in this video, you'll see two instances of Norfolk Southern train 64A, which is an oil train from Dupake, Iowa to Alexandria, Virginia. This is by far the longest train which ever graces these rails nowadays, and you'll hear some engines in notch 8 and sand going up this very steep grade. Here's our first glance at train 64A. This is in mid-January 2018, and here it is pulling up the Fairfax grade with four Norfolk Southern units, a C44-9W, an ES44AC, a C40-8W, and an SD40-2. All four of these locomotives, including the EMD trailing fourth, are online, and you can hear them roaring up this very steep grade at about one in the afternoon. stationed about a hundred yards away from CP Crestwood. Crestwood is the last signal on the steepest part of Fairfax grade. You'll see in this video as the engines get farther and farther from the grade, the train continues to rapidly pick up speed until at the very end it's going about 20 miles an hour faster than it was at the beginning of this video. One important thing to note about 64A is the use of a buffer car. A buffer car, in this instance, is an unloaded grain car 
placed between the engines and the oil tankers, and the oil tankers and the rear of a train. The buffer car is used to minimize disruption of the flammable chemicals stored inside the tankers. When trains start and stop and change speeds, slack is exchanged between the couplers, which causes the cars to bump into one another. The buffer cars help prevent the engines from knocking into the oil tankers so badly that it causes them to derail or the oil to spill out. This helps prevent emergencies with these very flammable trains. Our next catch of train 64A is February 12th, 2018, roughly a month after the first catch in this video. However, just a few moments before 64A rounded the corner, here is VRE 335 descending Fairfax grade. This is what I meant about the shortening of trains. Most of that traffic on this stretch of the Washington District is passenger. The only freight trains are a number of daily rock trains which only range from about 10 to 25 cars. There is also a manifest which runs in the middle of the night, south and north, from Lynchburg to Alexandria and from Alexandria to Lynchburg. However, these trains are minimal in length north of Manassas as there is not much cargo to be shipped to Van Dorn Yard or Robinson Terminal anymore. This 64A is about 20 cars longer than the one shown previously. It's also going a quite bit faster than it was in the last video while going up this grade. Here we see the four locomotives powering up this steep grade. Southern in April 1995. Now, over 20 years after its build date, it's still pulling long heavy trains on the Norfolk Southern Railroad. Trailing locomotives include a C44-9W, a C40-8W, and a ES44AC. These four General Electric locomotives show no sign of strain pulling this long oil train up one of the steepest grades in Virginia. guys enjoy this look at the steepest railroad grade in Northern Virginia. If you want more videos like this, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as it helps me with my future adventures. Until then, thanks for watching.